Hi everybody, it's Ann Quinn. And today I'm going to start a new uh, program uh, called uh, The Bibliotherapist is In. And you might or might not have heard the word of bibliotherapy, but it's simply using books to help you get through a concern or a problem or something that you want to dwell a little deeper into. So uh, I've always have used books to entertain myself, to find information. I've always kind of called myself the queen of self-help. I love to go to that section in a bookstore or in a library and learn how to become more organized uh, or learn how to get more exercise or steps in a day. Or there's a million different subjects and different things, but I thought it would be fun to explore the collection and the children's department on uh, specific areas that um, you viewers might be interested in, either as a preteen yourself or as the parent or grandparent of a preteen. So the series that I would like to feature today uh, as sort of the teen version of self-help is the American Girl series of books. I love them because they're short, concise, they've got great uh, pictures, infographics inside, and quick tips on so many subjects. And this is popular in our library. A lot of kids check these out. I would say they're really appropriate for kids between the ages of 8 and 14. And it covers a huge variety of subjects. And like I said, these books fly out the door. Here's one called Liking Herself even on the bad days. So let's face it, you know, we all, particularly if you're between the ages of eight and 13, you're going through puberty. We have those days where we don't feel so good about ourselves. So these are the secrets to trusting yourself, being your best, and never letting those bad days getting you down permanently. So I love this book. I like the uh, Girl's Guide to Manners. It helps break it down and make it easy. And it's not so boring like you're being lectured to on how to learn how to perform and act in everyday life. Another one is that every so often this happens, A Smart Girl's Guide to Friendship Troubles. We miscommunicated, um, somebody said the wrong thing. It happens even when you're an adult. But this is uh, dealing with fights, being left out, and that whole popularity thing that goes on in schools. So it gives you a lot of techniques and ideas of how to handle some troublesome, troublesome situation with your friends. I like this one too, because this is happening more and more for kids as parents are going back to work. A Smart Girl's Guide to Staying Home Alone, uh, how to feel safe and um, having fun at the same time. Again, this is so full of ideas of how to cope and they're done in a very accessible way that doesn't feel like you're being lectured. All uh, prebescent and uh, girls going through puberty were all interested in boys. A smart girl's guide to boys. Uh, surviving those devastating crushes. Staying true to yourself and other love stuff. Again, parents, grandparents, you're going to like these books. Uh, they're vetted. They are, have a wonderful reputation in the community. Sometimes all of us can worry during this pandemic we are all having trouble coping with just little things big things medium-sized things what do we do with this worry how do we learn to cope with it so this is a book on how to feel less stressed and have more fun has wonderful coping techniques love this book i wish these books were around when i was a kid a smart girl's guide to sticky situations how to handle those tricky icky problems and other tough times way to learn how to navigate this world. So I highly, highly recommend this book. And then they have other fun books like The Smart Girl's Guide to Cooking, uh, wonderful easy recipes and how to learn to navigate yourself around the kitchen. Uh, this is very um, appropriate in today's world, The Smart Girl's Guide to the Digital World. It tells you how to connect, share and play and keep yourself safe on the internet. This should be in every girl's stocking at Christmas time. I wish I had this book also when I went to my first dance in the seventh grade, A Smart Girl's Guide to Parties, How to Be a Great Guest, Be a Happy Hostess, and How to Have Fun at Any Party. And finally, I have A Girl's Guide to Money, How to Make It, How to Save It, and How to Spend It. They have great ideas and techniques in this too. We actually have a lot more of these American Girl books in uh, our section of the juvenile lit literature, and we call it girl stuff. 
is the category. And we have many, many other books that address issues of puberty and uh, even how to do great hairstyles. This is a popular, popular section of the library. So please come and look at these books. Um, you're gonna find some great ideas. And if they're ticklish subjects, these are things that maybe a mother and a daughter or a grandmother or aunt or an older sister can sit down um, with the, uh, the girl that they're addressing these issues with and read it together and share these ideas. And it's a great way as, as a starting a difficult subject to talk about. This is a great way to ease into those sometimes tricky conversations. So if you have any special uh, requests about anything that's troubling you and your child, please call me at the library at 335-2540, extension 17, ask for Ann Quinn, and I'd be happy to do a little research for you, and I can do it privately, or we can talk about it anonymously on this show of a problem or something that you're interested in. So I hope to hear from you soon. Thank you.